Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Hot Flash and Wrinkles makeup video and we are going to be testing out the new Tarte Amazonian Clay 16 hour full coverage foundation. And today is the perfect day because here it is so humid. Actually, I don't know if it's a perfect day to test it because it's probably not even a fair day to test it, but that's what we're going to do anyways. So anyways, I'm sweating right now. Um, and I didn't tan the other night like I said I was going to because it immediately started to storm. And when you spray tan, you're not supposed to get wet for like 12 hours or however long. I don't know more than a minute and that's how long it takes me to sweat when it's so humid so I didn't tan um, but I did take a shower and scrub off all my old tan so I'm not sure that we're gonna match because like I said I scrubbed it off and I bought this for when I have a tan which I intended to do but anyway that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it so if it doesn't match we're still gonna test it and see and I've got all these places to go today all these places I have to go to the grocery store I have to go to the post office and I have to go to the bank that's all the places but it's more than I really ever want to do so anyways let's get started um, I thought since this is a Tarte product and I have a lot of Tarte products that we would try and use mostly Tarte products I don't have all like I couldn't find a blush I used to have a bunch of them but I must have gave them all away because I couldn't find any so we're gonna use my bare minerals and then what else do I not have Oh, I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. I don't have a Tarte powder, but I don't want to go out and buy one because I love what I got. Um, other than that, I think we're mostly using Tarte. Well, I'm going to use my Cabrow because I don't have, I don't have very many brow products. Anyways, let's just get started and we'll go over it as we go. So. First off, we are going to do the TikTok method because I found that the TikTok method, that's what I call it. I don't know what it is. I think somebody said it was Wayne Goss's method long before it was the TikTok method, but I can't ever remember to call it that. But if it's his, he gets the credit. Anyways, whenever I use this, it seems like, especially with a full coverage foundation, it helps my um, foundation not to sink into lines, not to move around. It really just gets it set in place. So we're going to do that. So we're going to start off with some moisturizer. I'm using CeraVe, the nighttime one. It's what I always use. Somebody said, ask me in my last video to do a skincare routine. And I have done, I mean, I showed you what I, got, I do. I don't really have a routine. I do the same thing in the morning and the night. And basically, I brush my teeth and wash my face with a konjac sponge um, and I use that soap that I make myself with the essential oils and stuff and that's it I put on my dime eyelash serum sometimes I put brow serum on I think I'm just about out though because it seems like when I'm doing it now my brush isn't really got anything on it but I keep doing it just because I paid a fortune for that the um, brow stuff I'm using is the grande brow and it worked at first and it doesn't seem like it works as good now but it's they're better than they were when I first started using it so it is still working a little bit but I'm gonna start putting the dime lash serum on my brows too after the grande runs out which I think it's out but I just want to make sure Okay, so that, now we're gonna put on a little bit of powder. I'm using my Bye Bye Pores powder. Whoa. Somebody also asked about this brush. This was a limited edition Marvel, um, like Black Widow or something like that brush that I got clearanced quite a while ago. So, I don't think it's available anymore. I got it at Ulta, though. I guess you can look on there and see if it. you see them. I did look when, when they asked, and I didn't find this one. I found, like, one of the collection. And it wasn't, like, the big this big one. And I forgot to answer. So, I'm answering now. 
Um, so yeah, I don't think it's available, but I just liked it because it's red. You know, I love red. So, okay, our next step is to spray it. And I'm going to use this um, Tarte setting spray that I had. It's the something by the sea. Oh, here's my glasses. Rainforest of the sea, four in one setting mist. I hope there's enough in it. Anyways, that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna take these off so that I don't spray them. I haven't used, I used to use this all the time under my makeup. And I haven't in a while, because I really, really like the aerosol. Because see how wet it is? It doesn't get that wet. I don't like supporting Morphe. Morphe. But so far, they're the only ones that actually have an aerosol. I got this Revolution. Looks like an aerosol. Still looks like an aerosol. It's not. It's a pump. It was a huge disappointment. And so far, I did see one that looks like an aerosol um, from Drew Barrymore's collection. What Flower Beauty, that's what it is. Um, but it was on Instagram. I didn't see where you can get it or anything. And I haven't had a chance to look for it. Because I would love to do that. I love Drew Barrymore. Now we're going to go in with our primer. And this is the Tarte Base Tape. One of my babes. Let's go in with our... Let's let this sink in for just a second. And then we're gonna go in with our foundation. Let's see how, see if it matches me. I did take it out and test the color and it seemed fine, but that was before I scrubbed off all my tan, but my face tan has been scrubbed off. You know, it goes fast. And I had decided I wasn't even gonna tan my face, but when you're spray tanning, it's really hard to not tan a certain part. Cause if you wanna get right here, then it's gonna get on your face, but it doesn't wear well on my face. It gets splotchy. So I'm going to put some. This is the Amazonian clay. Oh, I was going to read you what it said about it. And my phone turned off. Okay, it says the benefits of this. Tarte's number one Amazonian clay 16-hour full coverage foundation leaves skin looking poreless. We're good with that. Uh, the benefits are skin mimicking full coverage, never cakes or creases, soft matte, never flat finish, leaves skin looking airbrushed. Poreless technology erases the look of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. Whipped mousse texture feels feather light and glides on like silk to cover imperfections. Powered by sustainably sourced Amazonian clay for better, longer, true wear. Vegan, 16 hour long wear, non-comedogenic, dermatologist tested. All right, that's what it says. Oh, and uh, my color is 37S. And had I had this in the store to look at what it says about these colors, I wouldn't have got this color because it says it is medium tan sand and it is medium to tan with pink undertones. I definitely would have got the one before it that said medium tan honey, but I always got sand in this. And so I thought, oh, that's probably it. And it looked okay, but I, I don't know why they can't put it in a clear package instead of a frosted one. Anyway, it's gonna work just fine. I have faith in it. I don't know if I got enough but we're gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna take this, oops, <laughs> take those off. See, it's not too bad, it's a little dark and it doesn't seem like it's yellow enough, but it's gonna work just fine. I got way too much. So I'm gonna go in with my brush and work it into my skin. Oh, just painted my earring. Yeah, see, my neck is really light now because I took off my tan. So it is a little bit dark, but we're going to make it work. We're just going to pull it down my neck some. 
blend it right in. It is kind of thick. I don't know about the moosiness. It did feel kind of moosey on my hand, but it seems like the spreadingness feels a little thick. There I am. Oh, yeah, I kind of like the color. It doesn't look pink when I get up close. I won't know for sure till I go downstairs, so that's when I'll be like, whoa, that's too dark, or whatever, you know, when I'm not in studio lights. All right, we're going to go in with the sponge. Yeah, it does look a little dark, huh? That's all right. We'll tone it down with this. And then we'll brighten it up with concealer and powder. It'll be great. It, it does seem to be hiding my pores pretty good. We are going to go in with our Tarte Shape Tape. Since this is so full coverage, I thought we need full coverage. Because I was going to use the creamy, but it doesn't have the coverage that this does. So I thought we're just going to go with the, the real thing. Blend this out. Real quick. I haven't used this in a long time because if I had, I would have remembered that you need to do one side and then the other because it dries really fast. All right, let's go in with our powder. And I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics powder again. All right, now we're going to take our brush and just make sure we get powder everywhere to set that in place. See, the color's not bad now. It looks great. It looks great right now. Yeah, it does. It looks really good. I like it so far. I am going to do wear tests today because this is a foundation. I know I stopped doing wear tests, but that was because they were um, moisturizers, tinted moisturizers, and I don't seem to have any problem with tinted moisturizers. However they go on, that's pretty much how they stay. I'm going to use my Tarte Pro Glow Palette. I used to use this all the time, but then I found the Bobbi Brown, which I really like a lot better. Whoops, you don't need to see all that. So we're going to be using this one, and I think it's always this one. Is this one is the highlight that I love to use? So we're going to start off with our bronzer. Now, there is going to be a little bit of Bobbi Brown in it because I'm using the same brush, but I'm trying to get it pretty much off there. Actually, it doesn't matter. We're not testing this out. But I just thought we'd use some Tarte products since we're testing a Tarte foundation. But I do like this one. I can see why I used it so much. Really is a pretty color. the blush. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals blush that I used the other day that one of my subscribers sent to me because I don't seem to have a Tarte one anymore. I had birthday suit and then I had like this peachy one and I don't know where they are now because I couldn't find them. I looked and I couldn't find them. So we're just going to go with this.
kind of blend that in a little bit. And then we're going to go into this Pro Glow palette. And I'm going to go into this one up here. I'll read you what it is. Oh, there they are. It is Strobe. And it's really pretty. I remember loving it too. Okay, blend that out. I know you guys think it's a lot, but once you tone it down, it's fine. Okay, now the eyes. We are going to use the Tarte Juicy palette. And I don't even know what colors we're going to use yet. I haven't decided. Um, but I'm thinking that we're going to use... We're going to start with a fluffy brush. And we're going to go into something... I think I'm going to go into a brown one. I think I'm going to go into... Oh, do they have names on them? Oh, here's glasses. Charmed. Right? there and that's what I'm going to put in my crease what I'm going to start with well it's darker than I thought but that's fine right it's just makeup and then we're going to put it in the outer part of my eye. Why can I not see in this mirror? Um, let's go into some copper. Um, shine right here. We're gonna put a little shine on there. We're gonna spray this with my Tarte 4 in 1 setting spray. So I'm gonna get it on my brush, spray my brush, and then place it on my eye so that I can get it to stay where I put it. All right, that's enough of that. Let's see if we can get some dust off. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna use Reflect right here. And I am just going to get it on my little finger and put it in the center part of my lid. And then I'm gonna go back and put it in the inner corner. Charmed. The one that I put up here, I'm going to put a little bit of this underneath. And then I'm going to take a blending brush and just kind of smoke that out a little bit. We're going to go in with some black eyeshadow and put a line, a liner line. So that was the Pro Glow palette for my, and this is just a any black eyeshadow. This one I've had way too long to be able to tell you where it's from. It was from the health food store. So just any black eyeshadow. Okay. I'm using my Cabral to do my brows. I 
I didn't have any brow products from Tarte. I think I told you guys that already, though. Because I, I like a brow, and it's from Benefit. And I don't really try a lot of brow products. I like Anastasia's, but they're too expensive. Well, actually, though, I have no idea if they're more expensive than Benefit's. But I used to use Anastasia's. And then somehow I ended up trying, it was probably a new product, the Cabral. Or I was influenced by an influencer. Anyways, I started using Cabral and I pretty much stuck with it. Other than I've tried a few other things. And some of them I've liked and I've used them for a while. I know that I had decided that using a pencil was faster so I used a pencil for a while I don't remember which one it was but I liked it but then when I started using Cabral again I didn't really think it was that the other had been faster okay I think all we have left is lipstick and I am using the juicy lip anyways this is the color orchid and it is the juicy lip and that's what we're gonna use and you push the button on the bottom to make it scoot up, I think. And I obviously have never made it scoot up. This is the color Orchid. And it was the only color they had that was even close to what something I'd want. So I don't know if this is my favorite color because like I said, it was the only one they had. I like it. It's a little thick. And it's very, very creamy. So let's just see if it'll go in here without squishing. Anyway, this is it. This is our look of the day. What do you think? I think it looks great so far. Anyways. I will be back later in the day to let you know how it held up to all this humidity and my running to town. So, I'll be back. Okay, guys. I am back. It is the end of the day. As you can see, I have no lipstick on. Um, it's not that late. It's only 6.30. But I wanted to come in and give you my final thoughts because I freaking love it. It looks, it looks exactly like it did when I put it on. And I went to town, I went to the bank, I went to the post office, I went to the grocery store. And it, it's not affected at all. It looks amazing. I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up. It has not sunk into lines. Now maybe it's because I did the TikTok method. Because I did watch a few other videos that didn't really like it. So I was, I, I usually don't do that because I don't want to be pre, have that in my head that, oh, it's going to, it's going to sink into lines or, oh, it's going to move around. I don't like to do that, but I did watch a couple of them because I was trying to figure out which color, because I was going to order it online originally. And so I had watched a couple of them. And so actually I was pretty sad when I was watching them and they didn't like it because I thought that it looked like it was going to be an amazing thing. And frankly... I think it is. I love it. It is really, really nice. Okay, so, yes, I love it. I think it's amazing. Oh, I didn't remind you, but we are testing out the Amazonian clay. Now, I am not comparing it. Maybe some of those other ones were comparing it to the old Amazonian clay. I never tried the old Amazonian clay. So, and it was 12 hour. Um, and I didn't watch any of the videos that said this versus this and it was the old one versus the new one. I only watched, I only watched like two. And one of them, one of them liked it and the other one wasn't that, she did all tart stuff too. And she wasn't that impressed with the foundation. And I thought, oh, that's crazy. It looks good on her though. I don't care what she said, it looked good. But I know how that is when it, you're, you know, on camera, it looks really good, and I'm saying, oh, no, I don't like it because it does this. 
but you just can't see it as well but this is amazing it's amazing at least the way i did it using all the tarte products that i used which i was kind of shocked that that spray setting spray and stuff that i used because i haven't used that in forever um but it worked great even though i felt like i got way too much on because it wasn't a aerosol but i'm giving it a thumbs up so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you so, so much for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!